What's up everybody, welcome back to Trash Talk. Bradford, serangan balik cepat. 3 on 3, Wayne Bradford. Oh! Bukan tidak seperti kemarin, namun uh, saya rasa tetap ancaman yang dilakukan Seagers ini sangat berbahaya. Oh! Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today I have one of the leading candidate to win the IBL MVP award, and he is Wayne Bradford from Pita Jaya. Welcome to the show, Wayne. What's up, guys? What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. So, Wayne, I did some research on you yesterday, and I saw you ball. Oh, kill cool, man! In your high school days, you yeah. had like 27 days. I uh, yeah. saw 27 points, yeah. and you you play against Quinn Cook, yeah. and then also you had Ben McLemore. Yeah. And after that game, did you have any call from Division One school? Yeah, uh, actually, that my senior year, I had Navy and uh, East Tennessee State um, and Liberty. Those are okay. like the only schools that uh, I had until I went to uh, junior college. So. What happened there? You didn't go to those three schools? No, I, I, I wanted to get some more. I wanted to get some more looks, so I went to a, a, a school in Sheridan, Wyoming. It's in the middle of nowhere. So uh, I went there for a year, and then I went to Weaver State after that. Okay, talking about Weaver State. Yeah. We actually had one Indonesian girl 10 years ago, though. Yeah. Minon, the chief player for Weaver State. Yeah. But not a lot of people know about Weaver State. Right. But I know, right? Because Damien Lillard went there. Right. Did you ever meet Damien Lillard? Damien I did. Lillard? I did. Actually, on my visit, he uh, showed me around. Oh wow! So him and one of the assistants picked me up. Uh, I actually saw him say that he was going to the draft. Okay. So I saw all the love that he was getting. So like, I committed on my visit. How was that feeling though, on your visit, and Damien Lillard was there? To be honest with you, both, like. Six months before that, our junior college coach was saying, he gave everybody an article about him. Okay. I was like, who is this dude? But then lo and behold, like later that year, he kept, he kept balling. I kept hearing his name. And then I got a call from one of the assistants after a, a, our regional tournament saying, come, to, come for a visit. And I met him and he's, I learned a lot that year and I learned a lot about him, like his work ethic and stuff. So, did you ever practice together or work out together with Damien? On my visit, I had to play and I played against him. And, He's the real deal, obviously. So, was he scoring on you or you were scoring on him? I mean, I, just me being me, I had, to, I had to go check him. I had to let, like, you know, I want to see what it, what it, if it's real or not. And it's real. It's real. So, it's real. So, it was so hard, though, guarding him. Yeah, it's hard, man. He's strong. He can shoot from the parking lot. So, wow. yeah, yeah. he's good, man. He, could, he got unlimited range. Unlimited range. So, so, you've been in Jakarta for a few months now. Yeah. Anything surprising you so far? Not really. I was in China before this. Okay. I was, uh, I was helping one of my friends coach. He has a basketball program. So being in China and then coming here, I mean, I understand. I understand the culture, especially the Asian culture. You know what I'm saying? And I like it a lot. You know, it's, it's, the people are respectful. But this so, is your first year playing. This pro. is my first year here in Jakarta. Not playing pro. Yeah, it's my first year playing, playing pro. pro. Yeah. How is it so far? I love it, man. I love it. I can't. I want to do it again. Keep doing it until I can't anymore. So I saw you come on a on a couple video. You could speak Bahasa a little bit. Uh, little bit, how, little bit. How old do you know your Bahasa? Now I'm <laughs> learning. I'm learning. I'm learning from all these guys. I I, I hear coach say, you know, they see me, they see na, uh, over here, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you can say terima kasih. Terima kasih, yeah. Terima kasih, cantik. Cantik. Well, pretty girl. <laughs> so are you single? Yeah, I'm single. I'm single. I'm single. Okay, I'm Indonesian single. girl. Yeah. We might, uh, you guys might, marry, might need to marry him though, so he can be Indonesian. <laughs> <laughs> we need him for the national team. Sure. But um, uh, everybody thinks that you play like James Harden. You like the James Harden of the IBL. Oh man. How often do you watch James Harden, or do you even watch James Harden? To be honest, I've been watching James Harden since. He was at Arizona State. Oh wow! Okay. And uh, so this uh, college at the Artesia High School. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I really never tried to play like him, but I guess just both being left-handed. And I watch his highlights all the time. I watch him, Russell Westbrook, Melo. Oh, well, that's my so, favorite player. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so. But the way you move, even the way you lean your body, yeah, it looks like. James Harden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you I, ever notice that though, on, on tape? A little bit, because I try to take I, I try to take some pages out of his book, because he's like a, a thick guard. So you know, and I, I'm, I'm a thick guard too. So I, I try to I try to use that to my advantage. So talking about Carmelo, Carmelo is my favorite player yeah. from Baltimore. Yeah. He's from Baltimore. Yeah. 
Kevin Durant's from Baltimore too, I think. He, right? He's from, from the other side of Maryland. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, you coming from there? Do you look up to those guys? Most definitely. Maryland is small. Like Maryland is not a big state at all, but like basketball is like king in Maryland. Okay. So um, I played on both sides of the state. I played in DC and I played in Baltimore. So I've seen them around many a times. Good story about them? To be honest, Mom, when I was uh, in sixth grade, I was playing for this team called Charm City. Charm and City. right after Melo had won the national championship at Syracuse, him and Joey Dorsey walked in the door at DCC. So it's a junior college in Maryland. Okay. And, and I played Melo one-on-one. -on -one. It was only me that played him one-on-one. -on -one. So like, I'll never forget that ever in my life. You played one-on-one -on -one with yeah. Melo? I actually have a, I have two posters signed by him. Wow. I'll send you one. Man, no, we, I need that. I send you one. I send you one. I send you one. Send, you one. send me that and your goosey to be I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you gotta plug that in. <laughs> I got you. I got you. And then you like when I met you first time when you came to Jakarta in November. Yeah. You're really quiet guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer all my interview questions like two words only, like Lonzo Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. last weekend you and Nash and George yeah. from Hong to a got a little little trash talking yeah, 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 during the yeah, offside. Yeah, Can you yeah. tell us what happened there? Oh man, it's just just having fun. That's all. Just having fun. He, he he's a good player. Uh, I know I'm a good player. Also, I know we got good players on our team. He got some good players on his team. So just having fun. That's all. Uh, do you do loud trash talking though during like regular games? Uh, Being from Maryland, you got to be tough. So it's nothing new. You know, it's, that's that's nothing new. Okay. Yeah. So that's good. Though. Yeah. Back in my days when I was playing, yeah. I thought loud trash too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like that, it's like that. Okay, now I talk about Pita Jai. Okay. So Pita Jai is still undefeated. Uh, you and Zaverius, your teammate. Yeah. Well, probably the best backcourt right now, I think. Right. So, what do you think playing alongside uh, with him? To be honest with you, it's like a huge weight off my shoulders. To be honest, because like, if you look back a game, a game ago. I have five points, and it's not about points, it's not about, it's about the wins at the end of the day. But I took a back seat, and I saw that my guy was making shots and making plays, and kept feeding him the ball. So that made me feel, that makes me feel good that I don't have to, I don't have to force it. I have good players on my team, I have Daniel Ryan, I have Xavier's, I have a guy, I have CJ Giles, I have a men coming back, so it's just, it's not about forcing it, it's about getting that W at the end of the day, that's all it's about to me. You got a really, you guys got a really deep team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, heading into the second half of the season, right? Is there anything that you're still concerned about this team? No, I just, just bringing it every day. Coach Ahan does a great job of making sure that everybody is uh, on ten every day. Coach Ahan, Coach Ito, our, our training staff. So, we just want to, we just want to keep going, That's all. keep getting better every day. Is this your best time playing basketball right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, this looks like you're having a lot of fun. Man. I mean, I'm having so much fun out here. I'm learning a different culture. I'm eating good food every day. You know, I'm, I'm wearing shorts every day. Back home is cold outside. You know, so I'm, I'm straight. I'm good. I'm having fun. I was in New York last week. Man, it's cold. Man, man it was like minus seven Celsius. I don't got time. I don't got time for it, man. No time for it. So, Keep me here. <laughs> so, last question. Some, what, what is something that not a lot of people know about Gwen back? Um, I'm not a party guy. I'd rather be in the gym. I'm a big family guy. I'm just a chill dude. I just like to just hang out with my friends and just, I'd rather chill and watch TV and eat some chicken wings and fries <laughs> than, than go to the club, to be honest with you. Wingstop? Wingstop all day. All day. <laughs> all day. All day. Uh, so that's all for today, the interview. Thank you very thank much, you, man. man. I really appreciate your time. Man. Yeah, thank you. Good luck this season. Yes, sir. The season. Stay you. healthy. Yes, sir. Hopefully, you guys win the championship this season. Yes, sir. And you win the MVP, man. Man, inshallah. <laughs> oh, my God. Inshallah. Who, who taught me that? I know that I got Muslim friends back home. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool, man. Yeah, yeah. So don't forget, guys, to like this video, comment, and follow Win Bradford on Instagram at underscore WLB14. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.